In this Automate training video, we'll be exploring launch control technology. Fitted to modern high performance vehicles, launch control systems rely on sophisticated arithmetic to produce fast, consistent starts in all conditions. Here's a preview of what you can expect to see in this module. A basic launch control system operates primarily by using a two-step rev limiter. Step one holds the vehicle RPM at launch control target, while step two controls the higher RPM red line. More advanced systems utilize the ignition system to help maintain the target engine speed. To achieve this, most systems use an ignition retard system or cylinder cut to hold the engine RPM at precise levels to limit wheel spin. Drive-by-wire throttle equipped vehicles can also use mat throttle opening targets helping reduce the amount of ignition retard needed to control wheel spin by adjusting throttle opening relative to driven wheel ground speed. This method keeps the exhaust gas temperatures down, generated using ignition retard only. The vehicle's launch characteristics are defined by the vehicle ground and wheel slip speed versus engine speed curves. The ECU mapping uses these inputs to effect a smooth transition of torque to the wheels by optimising the amount of slip at the tyre for a stable and consistent drive from the starting position. So if you're ready to take your knowledge and training to the next level, why not subscribe to Automate Training today? Visit automatetraining.com to change the way you think about training.